Kia ora koutou. welcome to another video. Today we're very lucky to have with us a new leader of the National Party, Christopher Luxon. Thank you for being here. Well, good morning, Summer. How are you? Very good, thank you. So let's get straight into it. What makes you the right person for this job? Well, look, what I can say to you is that uh, I'm a great opportunity for Aotearoa New Zealand. Uh, the former CEO of Air New Zealand, proud father of eight houses, uh, mates with Sir John Key, and I'd put it to you that that makes me uh, the best team for the job. But Hold on one moment. People love this. Learned that at RNZ. Uh, inga reo, inga mana, inga hau e fa. Look, Samar, our country's engine is underpowered and we need the right team that'll get this bird in the sky. Uh, we're going to need a mechanic and I'm the best man for the job. I'm not a mechanic per se, but what I can say to you is that I am an incredible capitalist and I think capitalism is just fantastic. And, you know, uh, I get it. Uh, free market, it's not perfect. It's pretty good. Uh, capitalism might need a little twinkle doodle D, a little... Uh, but what I can say to you is that based on my real world experience, capitalism is fucking awesome. Okay, now tell us, in your opinion, what do you think should be our primary focus moving into 2022? Look, we need to get our milk out there. Uh, we need a milk moustache on planet Earth. What I'm saying to you is that there are a lot of countries out there and some of them are willing to do some... Uh, interesting things. The question is, will we take advantage and fully exploit uh, the developing world? And my advice to New Zealanders, if you're a bit poor, a bit of a Johnny come lately, the best thing you can do for the economy and for your entire country is to look after business owners. Because the reality is that the wealthier they are, the more likely it is that they'll take pity on the poor and needy, uh, as our Heavenly Father instructs. Right. What about the housing crisis? What do you think the solution is there? Yeah, look, so part of the reason we sold off state houses is to motivate people. I can imagine if my progeny, uh, William or Olivia, were to catch rheumatic fever, uh, that would seriously unleash my potential, you know? Obviously, if that did happen, I'd just move Olivia and William into another house. Um, I'd have seven others to choose from, so not something winners should have to dwell on. Uh, touch carry. <laughs> And uh, that's a comfort I'd like to make available to all New Zealanders. Just as Growing Air NZ provided that opportunity to me and other senior staff, I believe it's growing the New Zealand economy that will benefit all New Zealanders. Uh, so don't be a med no show. Uh, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Heck, grab yourself up by the G-string if you have to. Um, we have to get out there. We have to dominate planet Earth. Um, just don't get pregnant. But surely not all of us can become millionaires or each own eight houses. Well, I haven't got the slightest idea about politics, but I've been to the library in my fourth house, and what I've learned is that around 1% of the world's population owns the majority of wealth on God's planet Earth. Uh, sorry if I'm getting a bit technical here with you, but uh, the New Zealand population is less than 1% of the world's population. Uh, that means among the top 1%, there's a slot for every single Kiwi on there. That's why my motto is that we could all be that 1%. Okay, voters want to know, what about your stance that abortion is murder? Well, if I could just redirect your attention to look at someone else, anyone else, uh, don't look at me. Uh, for example, take my deputy Nicola Willis. Um, we've had a lot of champagne-filled arguments and trust me, she's fully into baby killing. I mean, she's a bad Christian. But how can we make absolutely sure that your personal religious values won't impact on nationals' policies? Well, what I can tell you is that values don't have anything to do with politics. That's all spin. What's important is business. That's why I actually really like Jacinda. She's very business-minded. Uh, opening borders while her treaty partners are the least vexed in the country. That's Air NZ CEO material. Right. Tell me, what will you do to address the harms of colonisation on Tangata Whenua and to put into effect their rights under Te Tiriti? Uh, well, look, I'm actually colourblind and due to my condition I actually can't see the uh, colonial sorts of impacts uh, that may have occurred on certain individuals. But what I can say to you is that it's not good to dwell on that negative stuff. Icky. 
But as treaty partners, Māori have specific claims under Te Tiriti. Well, look, if we actually wanted to uphold Te Tiriti, we'd look something like the Greens, or even worse, Te Pāti Māori, you know? So again, it's just about focus in getting things done for all New Zealanders. Uh, forget all this who came first nonsense. Um, we're not selling plane tickets to Rotorua anymore. We're selling milk powder. Uh, via freight. Uh, so instead, we need to be conscious about Chinamen, Punjabs, uh, Indonesians, uh, other Asians. What I can tell you is that Maori have ihu mateo, uh, they'll probably have three waters and they've uh, got uh, matarangi. Uh, no wonder they can't look after their kids, quite frankly they're spoiled. Um, so what we need to do is stop calling people racists and get on with our lives and start enjoying this land of the long white cloud.